All right, what's up guys? Uh, it's Justin, we're finally back. It's a very exciting day. It is. <laughs> Let's not blow up a part of the rear end. So China. we're finally back to working on the 8.6 again. It has been a long time, very frustrating. Um, but we have a dyno day on Wednesday. So we've been spending yesterday and today prepping for the dyno. So today, we got to make sure that the axles don't get shredded on the dyno. So I got some of these new Panic made axles. Uh, I guess it's pretty popular with the beam swap guys. Obviously I don't have a beams, but we're going to be pushing a decent amount of power. So we're going to throw these in and we'll see if they're, I mean, they're obviously going to be stronger than the uh, stock axles. So hopefully they hold. And then uh, the only thing we got to worry about is the transmission blowing up. So, <laughs> which is a real concern. There's but, always something to worry about. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to throw these bad boys in, do a couple other little things, and uh, we'll update you in a minute. So first thing you do, remove the caliper. There's two 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter bolts on the back. Um, that'll allow you to take the whole brake assembly off. And then there are, it's not in gear, is it? I need to spin this. There are four 12 millimeter, if I remember correctly. What the heck? Uh, 12 millimeter, oh, maybe they're 14. Maybe they're 14. Uh, there's four bolts in here. Pull those off. The axle should come right out. All right, so where are we at? All right, so I had to call in the Calvary because this axle is just not wanting to come out. So we got the slide hammer. The theory is that the uh, red RTV that Justin used to seal the end of the axle um, Kind of stuck to the wheel bearing and now will not come out. Yep, so uh, we're gonna need something it. to put a little bit more force because uh, we tried to be two mules and pull it off together and we ended up just moving the car. So we don't really want to do that and risk it being that sketchy. So that looked like it's going to work a lot better. So we'll get this all put together and give you guys an update. Slide that hammer. There we go. Yep, that's all it took. A 25 minute trip to Napa. In my ass. No kidding. I mean, I can't stress how easy the driver's side was. I mean, it came off with just the slightest tug. I tried to buy them. They wouldn't let me. Really? So I had to rent it. Damn. Yeah. It's okay, we don't need it, but every so often. I know, but at this point, it'd probably be nice to have. Yeah, that's what we keep doing. That's how I ended up with the wheel puller. Which is still useful. Oh, right. man. It's finally out. Yeah, look at The RTV yeah. made it onto the back side of the wheel bearing. Yeah. Yep, created a nice little seal. Made a horrible little seal. But... At least it's out. And the paper gasket's fucked. Yeah. Paper gasket on that side's fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna use RTV, but I do need to reuse the metal gasket. Yeah. So I'll we'll have to clean that off. Because I didn't have time to order new ones. Nope. All right, we'll get it all cleaned up and work on getting it back together. Yeah, so the GTS axles are really only, I think I've seen people run them up to like 200 horsepower. Um, we should be pushing a little bit more than that. So to be safe, I got these. These are new on the market. Matt Panic does a lot of stuff with um, 8.6s, um, older Toyotas. A lot, he's the beam swap wiring harness guy. Uh, hit him up if you need anything for that. Um, but these axles seem to be pretty good quality. So can't wait to put these in. Should be, uh, should be pretty easy. I got the ones with all the bearings and studs installed. Make my life easy and you get a little bit of pool flow. Safety. 
for safety. All right, so got the axle on or in. It's much easier than getting the other one out, uh, but it looks good. You got the little Panic logo there. You'll be able to see that through the wheel, which is a nice little touch. So I'm really excited to uh, see how these hold up. You know, I, I didn't run the old axles uh, with a lot of power, but I know, I think they, they have a tendency to break right around the 200 horsepower mark. Um, which we should be shooting for much more than that. Well, not much more, but more than that. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna finish assembling this right here and we're gonna move on to the other side. Just finished installing this side. That looks pretty cool, right? Yep, time to move on to the other side. 